today, uh, but in a bit of a dilemma, if I should play either Doki Doki Literature Club, which I have not made a video on in like forever, or play um, Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning. And both of these are horror games, I guess. But the, in my opinion, freaking Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning is way more terrifying. So yeah, anyway, let's just jump into Doki Doki Literature Club. Skip one and you've already read. Sorry, you told me. Okay, I'm gonna have to get ready for saying a lot of dialogue. Yay. Sorry, to Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. That's okay, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her mom gun collection in the club room. Mm. Atsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature, cause it is. I love manga. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry guys, Kelsey always gives it his best, even though I'm not a dude, best long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work. <laughs> without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room's always messy. It's <laughs> and you almost set your <laughs> you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? Ehehe. <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Kelsey can become good friends too. Um Sayori. Hmm. As usually, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she put just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri. Even brought you something today. You know. <laughs> Wait, Sayori. Eh, me? No. Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sorry, made sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? I'm sorry, you really. What was I thinking? Guess that means. Guess that means it's up to me to risk, to res rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I will make it a big deal if you don't want to it to be. Alright, I can't read apparently. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked a book I thought you might enjoy. It. It's a short read, so, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could... <laughs> why did I freaking skip that? Discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> That's true. She even picked out a book. She thinks I like this by me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it in your own at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone everyone's settled in, I accept I expect Monica to kick to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is really buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for his for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki was rummaging around in the closet with manga, isn't she? Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I saw him down in the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature relate related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some uh, some of the book yearly. <laughs> I almost said yearly. 
I meant, um, <laughs> I cannot speak at all today, I swear to God. But I am feeling a, a little too tired to read. Same. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening to Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of lit literature club sounds too dense and intellectual 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 i don't know i'm not even sure if i pronounced that right i don't know um i need to clean my glasses real quick because uh they're really foggy okay okay let's go the problem is that that okay i already read that but it doesn't but it's not like that at all you know you just need a way to of showing that uh, that to everyone something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will co come in the first place. It's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sorry, is talking, is taking this really seriously. You try to hear her del deliberating, deliberating like this, I don't know. Well, that's a good point. In case, do you think food will do the trick? Probably. What kind? Sayuri's face is just so freaking adorable, okay? Ah, uh, well. I guess we could cupcakes. Ha, <sighs> good thinking. That's like you would love to do that. Also get some tea for Yuri. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That should work out perfectly. People love tea too, you know. You could freaking ask Yuri. That wasn't why you suggested it. cupcakes speak to my creative my my blah, blah. My creative dummy, because I can't freaking say a word. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. And the answer is still her usual self. But they're, they're in, they're, they're in? I'm sorry, I, I cannot read anymore, apparently. Probably even my friend who can barely ever read can probably read what that says. But therein lies, oh, but therein lies, okay. The unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Sari can put her mind to things and make, it come them to <laughs> make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about, on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Wow. <laughs> Sayori, back up. Sayori, back up. My per it's something called personal space, okay? I open my eyes to find Sayori face, face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Boy! Mm. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Glancing over my shoulder. I couldn't read. Let me see the history real quick. What? Glancing over my shoulder, I see Monica overhead. Okay. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> that was freaking terrifying of a laugh. So, yeah. It's what I do best. That's the problem. <laughs> what about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. 
You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's, it's a secret. <laughs> I knew it. Come on. At least give me a benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly rushing this morning. Look at your hair sticking out all over the place. Ah. One of my fingertips is inside Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. It's just really hard to get right. I won't fall off that. It's more than just your hair. Look at your bow, it isn't, it isn't straight either. And a toothpaste stain on your collar, right there. Try to wipe off the same with my finger. Whatever, no, but, but nobody will ever notice that. Of course they would. No one's gonna tell you because they don't wanna embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, <laughs> you meanie. And you don't even blaze your button up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why the frick do the, 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 the... Why the frick do... Go away! Yeah, here's proof I freaking downloaded this before this video. Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. Sorry to burn her blazer from the bottom. When you see how much better you look, you'll change your mind. <laughs> no! Ah! No! <laughs> she looks uh, e, mm, Ah, no. Mm. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Is this so funny? Yes, the frick it is! <laughs> what is? Well... I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh, don't say that. You make me feel weird about it, stupid. Hey, Tokido. Oh, here comes my dog. Hey, Bella. <laughs> I just completely, like, stop the voice acting just so I could pet my dog. Okay, now, bye-bye. Now, go, Be Bella. Bella. Bella, out. Oh. Ah, oh, whatever. She, she gonna stay here and watch me go slowly insane okay yep i'm sorry oh she looks so comfortable it's adorable i'm happy we're like this um i'm sorry i just skipped a bit and i just paused the video real quick so yeah i feel about it stupid it's okay though i'm happy we're like this aren't you ah uh, i guess hey be careful the button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? <laughs> I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Can I ever fit you properly? Eh. It did when I bought it. Sigh. If you ever buttoned it, you have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? How <laughs> much is um? Mm. Say that loud. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you you look much better now. So, uh, why does it feel strange seeing this already blazer buttoned up like that? It's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Buttons, but sorry, I hazily unbuttons her blazer once more. Oh wow. Phew. That's so much better. Puts her arms and twirls around. So if you keep it on button, then I will get a boyfriend, right? <laughs> what kind of logic is that? And why are you saying like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take, and you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping me unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. 
Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you'd focus on getting a bit earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Hehe. <laughs> Um, I guess we really are better taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. What the frick is that? Yeah, I guess so. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, oh, I was joking that time. And it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone! Uh... Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share our, the poems we wrote now? Yay! Kelsey, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. <laughs> I felt to sound enthusiastic, but I already tried to wait to, re to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a, a poem last night? Yeah. Our relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sorry, and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on, <laughs> is on a wrinkled sheet of a loose leaf to horn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a conversation notebook. I can already see Monica Prince 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 I don't got no freaking clue. Handwriting from where I sit. Now Duki and Yuri rec 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 comply as well. Reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Should I share my show my poem too? Uh, hmm. Either Sayori or Natsuki. I'll, I'll do Natsuki. She's awesome. I told Natsuki I was into in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. First, hers first. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little what? <laughs> well, excuse me. It's not like I said was bad. <laughs> it's just... It just didn't invoke my any emotions. <laughs> so basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. <laughs> Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> That's me, though. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm just a freaking... Taller Natsuki, to be honest. Just the taller Natsuki. I love anime also. This is why I freaking love this character. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. <laughs> Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's... That's about it. <laughs> yeah? You aren't gonna like it. I like it. What? I actually really like it. Just be honest. I am. Are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? <laughs> I actually really like that, though. Because everyone in high school thinks that that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Okay. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of the poems for people trying to express themselves? Writing style would make your message less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things, it can re be really... It can't... <laughs> Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be just, I'm not even gonna freaking read that anymore, I'm done. So I decide to write about it. Yeah, I understand. 
But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight puts more weight on the word play. Word play. I like like I set up for, for a rhythm at the end, but makes it all fall flat on purpose. Let's bring out the feelings of the last line. So you did. I guess more went into I get I guess more went into it than I realized. <laughs> That's what it means to be a pro. <laughs> I'm glad you're learning something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her in the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is, Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Who should I show my poem to next? Um, let's do my childhood friend, Sayori. She's awesome. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Kelsey. <laughs> I love it. I had no idea you're such a good writer. I, in real life, I'm really not a real one. I freaking suck at it. Sayori must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, Maybe that's why. Cause I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it because I wrote it? Yeah. Well, I'm sure that's a part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So that's when I read your poem. It's not just a poem. It's Kelsey's poem. <laughs> And it makes me feel ex it makes it feel extra special. Like I could feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> that you wrote one. It just remain it just reminds me how you're really a part of the club now. No mention of the fact I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Kelsey. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. Am I gonna be able to read your freaking poem? <laughs> I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't I can't deny that she's a part of the reason I joined. <laughs> Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay. <laughs> Now, you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Let's see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me get out of bed, making me rub sleepy, rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a raining day? I look above, the, the sky is blue. It is a secret, but I trust you. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. <laughs> I love that. I actually really like that. Sayori. It's just a guess, but... Did you wait till the morning to write this? <laughs> no. Just a little bit. <laughs> I can't even answer just a little bit to yes or no. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. I couldn't freaking read that because I keep skipping it. I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. Didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. You came at nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. It does. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. 
Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> I get all cranky. <laughs> I guess no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> okay, everyone. Uh, I just ate dinner. Sorry. Uh, obviously, uh, I cut that out. But anyway, I'm, let's play. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll, I look forward to it. Who should I read, show my poem to next? Um, how about Yuri? Y Yuri, I, I actually wanna really read Yuri's. Dot, dot. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Uh, oh, so sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. Uh, I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. It's your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that. I guess it might be after reading thought. Uh, this is, uh, so it's that bad? <laughs> no, uh, did I raise my voice? Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Buries her face in her hands. I don't know what I'm doing. Gonna help me, but notice that there's been several minutes that we've real haven't gone anywhere. Took nearly a while to get used to new people. Uh, it's fine. I really didn't notice. Uh, what were you saying? Right. Um. It's just that there's a specific writing habit that are usually t typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable things I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. 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 I don't know. <laughs> In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter. And they form fit to the two together. The end result is both the style expressions are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, and she find, finds her demenor, demenor, totally changes, I don't know. Her stammering is completely gone. Stam, I'm not, and sounds like, and sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not like finding them and building them, just, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it will all come, it all comes with practice and learning by, by example and trying new things. What the frick was that? Also, I hope everyone else in the club gives you about valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a bit biased, though. I think... I'm not sure if I said that right. Oh, biased, okay, how? Um, well, never mind. I should be talking about other people, like, so sorry. It's fine. 
I'm not sure if Yuri apologized to herself, me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts. Presses behind. Yuri smiled, Dean, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Aw, she looks adorable, though. Mm, I love Yuri. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be the literature club? Crap. Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate behind the amber, the amber, amber, yeah, amber glow bathing. It must be this one. The lasting, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. Oh, I can't read cursive crap. The last yet to be replaced by the sinking blue-green hue of the future. Bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past, the light fli flicks Flicks back. I flicking back. Okay. I actually really like that. Okay. I'm sorry, I have such a terrible handwriting. You don't have bad handwriting? That's freaking cursive. I I can't read cursive. I'm sorry. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. Took you a long time to read. Ah. Uh, I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is really pretty. It actually really is. I can, I can do handwriting. No. <laughs> My handwriting sucks, to be honest. I, mm, to be honest, uh, no one can read mine, uh, except if I go slower. <laughs> eh. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually, I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, really? <laughs> this story isn't about ghosts at all, Kelsey. Really? Obviously. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose to glance over it at all. I'm sorry. I, I'm not reading all this. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to be a bother. There you go. Time to read with just Monica. Let's go. Hi, Kelsey. Having a good time so far? I, I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm not going to freaking read this. I'm so sorry. I just really don't want to read this. I'm very tired right now. And I could barely read, obviously. Like I said, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just skipping through this. I, I, I just can't. Oh, uh, freak you, Monica. I mean, I could read it better. Hole in a wall. It couldn't have been me. I see the direction. The sparkle protrudes. protrudes. Oh. I see the direction and the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know I wasn't home. Oh, that's just getting weird. I'm sorry guys if you hear the screaming kid in the background, that's my little brother having a hissy fit. So yeah. No, I can't see, I real blind. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but my brother's just having his little cat fight with himself, or just, having a hissy fit so yeah that's that's just my, that's my brother it was um, I just lost my place no 
And I peer, I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I real blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retains already scratched in my permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole but in flint choice. Realize now that I was looking in, I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Dang, that's actually really deep. Dang. So what do you think? Uh, it's very free form. That's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not the right. My brother is still having a sissy fit. So I'm not the right person to ask for feedback. Feed it's feedback. Uh, it's okay. No, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I just I just need to freaking get this video over with. And sooner or later, my brother is going to get closer to my room. And you guys would probably be able to hear me. So, yeah. Phew. I guess that's everyone.